This video is brought to you by Let Synthesize Academy, the number one place for practice-oriented courses for serious music producers. Hey, Dan Larson here, welcome to the new Synthesize Sunday episode. And today we are going to make some Matthews sound design because everybody loves Matthews. And if you love the Sunday crank song, this is going to blow you away. Okay, so this is the sound I'm talking about. <laughs> So it is coming from FMN, but it is not the most important thing. Most important thing is the distortion, that what is really makes the sound. But let's jump into FMN and let's analyze this very very simple preset, it's really not a big deal. Okay, so here we are in FMN, as you can see, it's <laughs> very very basic. I have a sine wave with this envelope, modulated by another sine wave on ratio 2, with this plucky envelope and another plucky envelope on ratio 2 and the second formant. So these are the generators, very very simple plucky kind of sound. All these go into a filter and as you can see it's a bandpass filter with huge envelope amount and the envelope shape is something like this. I decrease the attack to avoid that very heavy clicky kind of sound but basically it's just a plug with a very light sustain. Now let's check the envelopes because what I did is I logged operator E and operator D envelope. So these two guys. So whatever I do here, for example on operator D, will change in operator E at the same time. So these are logged together, it's very important. And I also added one effect, an overdrive, that basically I love in FM8. The FM8 overdrive effect is very very handy and makes that very gritty and rusty kind of sound that I really miss from, for example, Serum, that is impossible to do this kind of sound in Serum. And there is no unison, as you can see I'm using only one voice, and everything is mono, so I'm not using chord or anything. And this is all. As you can see in FM8, it's just a plug, basically. A distorted and bandpass filtered plug. Very, very simple. But now let's check the effects, because those are that really makes a sound. But before that, let me show you the pure sound coming out from FM8 without the other effects. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? Okay, let's choose a reverb, a very short room reverb. So this is what Matthews, Noisia and other guys love to use a lot, adding some very short room reverb. This is kind of similar to the dimension expander that you can find in Serum. Oh, and by the way, if you want to learn more about Noisia heavy design, click here. This is a full course on my academy. Okay, I added an EQ and that is again a very important thing. Now what we are going to do is boost the E notes on the frequency spe spectrum. This whole little groove is in E. So what I wanted to do is just boost two peaks, two frequencies that are playing on E. So if I open this window, as you can see, the first EQ bell is on E3 and the second one is on E4. So let me show you what it does if I activate the rest of the effects. How cool is this? With this process your sound will cut through the mix a lot better because we apply basically a huge amount of middle frequencies. So this was the EQ and here the most important thing comes. Again, let me activate the other effects. And without the trash, as you can hear it's very essential. Now the trash 2 preset is again very simple because basically I made it from scratch so this is not a preloaded preset modified. So I applied a very very slight saturation on the low end and on the middle band I applied a saturation mild excitement and on the top band I used two stages of distortion. The first one is a drive on smooth overdrive and basically I cranked up the drive a lot and I didn't touch the filter so it doesn't need to be activated and on stage 2 I used the fuzz to add some more high frequencies, some more fur basically to the top end. I used a negative type and basically I didn't touch anything, it just makes its job automatically. Now we don't hear the effect because we are using an erosion. I love this little noisy, this little furry kind of thing on the whole sound. Okay, I added a multiband dynamics device, but this time I'm using only one band and I applied a huge compression. So as you can see the threshold and the ratio is cranked up to almost the maximum. This helps a lot to the river to be audible. And then an EQ, because we need an EQ after all these. 
and are saturated to the end to avoid digital clipping. So if you want to grab this kind of sound, you only need to do two things. Have a very plucky kind of thing with some slight distortion and then have Trash 2 to add some huge distortion basically on the middles and some fuzz on the top. Then basically you are done. <laughs> it is very very simple but don't forget the two peaks that I applied to the EQ8 because that makes a nice flavor to the sound. And if you are hungry for a very deep knowledge building up a noisy start track from start to finish something like this click here and check the academy so i was Larson. see you guys next time peace